Hello stars, I hope you fine. Uh, oh my god, I didn't say it for a long time. Uh, another of your requests is to make a digital clock. And today I will show you some ways to make it. But first I wanna introduce the sponsor of the video. And please stay with me until the end of the video. Thank you. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for your projects. They offer custom PCB port type service, CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication and more. You can order your projects online and they ship worldwide within 24 hours. Check them out at PCBWay.com Alright, the program I wrote is such that I first define the hour, minute and second variables. I prepare a serial connection. Here I've defined that it will display the variables in the form of a clock and after one second it checks if the second is more than 60 it adds one unit to the minute and if the minute is 60 it adds one unit to the hour and if the hour is 24 all the variables become zero i will upload the program so that we can see the result all right as we can see it's working well now I want to change the program so that I can also set the clock. I define that if there is something in the serial communication, it will be received and then put into the variables. The time is 11.54 minutes now, uh, for example 10 seconds. It's working well. After about 15 minutes, the clock is 7 seconds slow. So we cannot simply use the delay function. There is another method and that is to use the Arduino Timer 1 library. This timer is 16 bits and is much more accurate than previous method. I define in the program that after one second it will go to the requested interrupt function and execute the commands of the previous program. After about 30 minutes the clock is slowed down by 2 seconds and this is much better than the previous method but I'm looking to remove the delay. My microphone stopped working. I don't know why. Okay, no problem. I will continue without my clock. I made another kind of clock called online clock. An example is this beautiful clock that connects to the internet and shows the time without delay. Its video is here and you can check it out. And I really prefer the online clock to other methods. But it also has some problems such as intent the Wi-Fi password and SSID and other things that may be a bit annoying. I bought the DS1307 module a month ago and I haven't even opened its package until today. Let me see how it works with this. This module has a battery that calculates the time even during blackouts. And because of the low current consumption, it can work for years without recharging. It has been working for an hour now and there has not been a single second of delay. Okay, apparently the best way is to use this module, but there are more points to be considered that cannot be mentioned in this video because the time of the video will increase. In the next video, I will recreate the clock project so that we can better understand the results. But the condition is your support for this channel. Please watch the video completely and like it. I'm waiting for your comments. See you soon.